While we were staying at our Blue Ridge Mountain Paradise, we found this super cool restaurant in downtown Boone called Howard Station. It's located in an old train depot and has this incredible rustic feel that y'all already know we're obsessed with. The restaurant is owned by an incredible couple, Chelsea and Cody. Everything on the menu has been carefully crafted and handmade in-house. Even their barbecue sauces were made from scratch, which is why you'll find some delicious and unique creations. Howard Station's main focus is with their smoked barbecue and smoked everything. Just wait and see what we had on our menu. We started with the fried green beans, which are beautifully battered and fried, served with your choice of two of Howard Station's house-made sauces. You have five awesome options. The Lost Appalachian Black Vinegar Sauce is bold and very vinegar forward, much like your classic North Carolina barbecue sauce. Then you have a blueberry chipotle, which has a great kick in between those sweet blueberry notes. The sweet and spicy was my personal favorite. It had such a perfect balance of sweetness, saltiness, and heat. You can also enjoy their traditional Alabama white, which was pretty great with the green beans. And then Joni B's fave, which is the Howard Station hot sauce. And y'all, it's pretty spicy. For our main courses, we had the off the rail ribs, which were for sure off the rails delicious. They're slow cooked until they're fall off the bone perfection, and the ribs are smoked in their signature sauce, which is so, so yummy. You get two sides, so we went with the hush puppies and smoked mac and cheese. Yes, y'all, we said smoked mac and cheese. It was amazing, but you'll get to hear us talk all about it at the end of this video, because we captured our after-dinner thoughts in the parking lot of Howard Station. We also had the absolutely delicious signature sandwich with pulled pork. It's the most perfect pulled pork on the softest brioche bun. Joni B liked to heat hers up with the Howard Station hot sauce, but I stuck with my tried and true sweet and spicy. And we had that sandwich with the side of Sidewinder fries and more of that smoked mac and cheese. Because one side was not nearly enough for the both of us. And we finished off our meal with a smoked blueberry cobbler. Holy blueberry bushes, y'all. This was so freaking good and there's absolutely no way to describe the deliciousness. So I guess you'll just have to go down to Howard Station and try some for yourself. We are so grateful to Chelsea and Cody for allowing us to come in and enjoy their incredible restaurant. Thank you a million times over, and we can't wait to come back. Please enjoy Post Dinner Thoughts with Joni and Jenny B. Hey everybody, it's Joni B. And Jenny B. And we're in Boone, North Carolina, up in the beautiful mountains. Mm -hmm. And um, where were we just at? We just ate at Howard Station. Are you kidding me? was amazing and the owners Chelsea and Cody fabulous such sweet people I mean a fabulous young couple who have it going on amazing customer service and food that oh my gosh guys delicious ribs that just melt off of the bone mm -hmm. sauces that are homemade we Co both had a different sauce too different favorite sauce oh mine was a peach habanero and mine was the sweet and spicy so but they had so many others they had what the white alabama that was really good because we had fried green beans so we dipped in everything and then they had a blueberry chipotle and you delicious now what my favorite one i liked was the hush puppy so you dip the hush puppy in that and mm. i dipped absolutely everything in the sweet and spicy because I just wanted to drink it out of the container. It was so good. <laughs> so, but I mean, everything was amazing. We had a pulled pork sandwich. Guess what was really good on the pulled pork sandwich? The sweet and spicy barbecue sauce was <laughs> like really good on that. <laughs> but I'm sure all of them would taste very good. I personally like the peach habanero on it. Oh yeah. And the bun was so soft that it just, just was so soft in, I don't want to say melted, but it almost like melted into the pulled pork. But still somehow maintained like structural integrity so nothing was like falling out everywhere. That's right, because you know you get some buns that are in pieces and stuff. Mm -hmm. and no, this this was, in my book, perfection. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. It was yeah. perfection. I would get it again a million times <sighs> over. It was simple. It was the bun and it was the pulled pork. They didn't try to do like weird stuff with it. So just to get, and yeah, and you, mm, you mm, 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 mm. And the mac and cheese smoked mac and cheese and it was it, smoking i'll tell you and it was good if you know us in real life we're not usually like smoked people but when it's done right and this was done right well, 
it wasn't where you felt like you were eating something smoked. No. And I think that's the key because most places when you go, I mean, it really feels like you're eating an ashtray or that liquid smoke that this was no. So take it from someone who I'm giving, I'm telling you the facts. That was amazing. Oh yeah, and it had like a nice little cheesy crustiness on top. It, what I would say the smoky flavor was like almost like if you would put bacon in it, but there was no bacon in it. See? It was, that, doesn't that sound like awesomeness? Delicious. I mean, that was so good. And then, so you had the hush puppies that, and then they had funky fries, and then for dessert, are you kidding? Smoked blueberry cobbler. And again, I am not a cobbler person. If I'm gonna pick a dessert, it's gonna be something chocolate, it's gonna be a cheesecake, it's never gonna be a fruit cobbler. But 10 out of 10 would eat that smoked blueberry cobbler again. I mean, we could not wait to tell you guys about it, so. We're sitting like across the street in the parking lot yeah. to discuss this deliciousness that we just experienced. So if you are anywhere within driving distance to Boone, which that is everybody in the United States, right? So you need to come to Boone, North Get Carolina. Get your car and let's go. So you come here. But I mean, we know people down in Charlotte, people in Durham, people in Conover. You guys need to come and check this amazing place out and I mean if beer is your deal they got that they have that they have I mean it is just an amazing place I think they really have something for everyone like even with their sauces that they made all in-house created these blends there's something for every palate there for sure I guarantee it yes and so now here's the challenge is on to you guys so come to Howard Station get something let us know what you think because we know you're gonna be happy oh yeah you're gonna love it you're gonna love the whole crew over here they are amazing and it's at an old train depot yeah it's just yeah, I mean it's funky and sweet and I'm a mama so see everything sweet and yeah, they, they have a rooftop they have one rooftop. of three they're the second rooftop dining area in Boone there's one of three. So. And it is happening. So if you want to be on the rooftop, you best get in here. Yeah. Because everybody was coming in for the rooftop. Yeah. We sat there. Yep, we want the rooftop. Yep, we want the rooftop. But they have great spaces. They have a lower level than the main floor level. And then they have the, the rooftop. Which is a gorgeous view. But y'all know how I feel about exposed brick. And so the whole inside, like the bar area, was all exposed yeah. brick. So we had to sit there. And they also have amazing sweet tea. And you know, we're kind of picky at our sweet tea. So, she hadn't even been getting it to go many places these days because, you know. But yes, it was very good. And again, Chelsea and Cody. Y'all are amazing. They are amazing. So if you do come in, make sure you give them a shout out. So my time is flashing. Jennifer is poking me saying, Mom, sup? So we're going to go for now. But again, Boo, North Carolina, the place to go is Howard Station. So, woo -woo -woo -woo. bye guys. I didn't poke you. I just said that. Oh my God, making me look like a bad person. Thanks for watching y'all. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button y'all.